so I'm sitting at my brother Jerry's house. And all of a sudden, he's like, you want to smoke a joint? And I'm like, Jerry, I know what you do when you smoke pot, okay? You try to go down anyone's pants. <laughs> yeah. See, here you go. Yeah, stop making your sexy horny faces, please. <laughs> okay. So, anyways. Jerry and I, I'm sitting here, and I'm watching him try and smoke a joint. All by himself. And the poor fucking little uh, pothead over here can't even light it up himself. He needs me to do it for him. So I'm walking over with the lighter. And I'm like, Jerry, this is the last joint you are ever going to smoke. And this is the last joint I'm ever going to light for you. So basically, enjoy. So I guess he took that a little too literally and was like, oh, baby, you so pretty. Even though you're my sister, it's like, it doesn't even matter. So he tried to feel all up on my good dogs. And I was like, um, Jerry, can you stop again? Please, I asked you like 17 times before to stop feeling on my jugulars. I know they look nice. And I know you're really, really nice. <laughs> 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 the jugulars in your throat. <laughs> on my jugulars. <laughs> the jugular is your throat. I'm sorry. It's the laughing gas that goes through Jerry's fence. But... I know that they look very nice, and I asked you to stop playing with them. Like, I can't even tell you how many times before. No, it will not put this in your ass. <laughs> this is the shit I have to go through. Okay? He wants me to shove this in his ass. Does that look like it's comfortable? Does that look comfortable? I don't know what he's thinking, but he needs to go to Romantic Depot and get some real shit. Okay? So I was at home, right? I was rocking to my music in my car. And I was walking to your music car. I was rocking to my music in my car and I was just listening to the music, yo. I was just listening to and there's a big ass lesbian jumps through my window, breaks a freaking glass. Yeah, that's how I'm still with that girl. Uh-huh. Mm. Yeah, check it out. Mm. Ricky Ricky, let me let me break it down for you right now. Mm-hmm. And then she jumps in my car, she puts on the sleeper in her own way. Of life, <laughs> and then, damn, you don't know what she did next. Let me tell you, uh, you know what she did? She took my favorite tune out of this cassette, <laughs> <laughs> and do you know what she did? She shut that damn ass CD up her pussy, and she goes, "Play it in me," and I'm just like, "Yo, I don't do that crazy shit." And she'll be like, play it in me, y'all, play it in me. And she's like, press the play button. I'm like, where is it? She goes, press it. And she goes, where is it? I don't know where it is. Do you know where the damn play button is? <laughs> to put a freaking CD in your girl pussy. <laughs> nah, nah, let me tell you. <laughs> it ain't happening. So open my damn broken window ass up. <laughs> and then. Oh, fuck around. <laughs> and then I throw that white trash ass that motherfucker out of here and I take my CD and throw it out the window and say you do it yourself bitch cause I can't find your buttons you loosen up your own damn button so the other day I'm walking down the street trying to get a job it's obviously late at night it's like 12.30 12.41 maybe I'm a little late but whatever so I'm walking in my corner and uh all of a sudden, I see this damn hot, sexy boy. And he's all like, Bitch, I want you to hop through my window and do some freaky ass shit with my CDs. So I'm like, Um. <laughs> so I'm like, Um. <laughs> Anyways, I'm still in my brother Jerry's apartment, so I'm a little. <laughs> On a laughing gas. So, anyways, like I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by you, Mr. Gas Bubbles over here. Anyways. <laughs> so, he asked me to do a whole bunch of freaky shit. Like, he wanted me to jump through glass or something. And I was like, you ain't paying me enough. And he was like, 
baby. I don't need to pay you any more than I already am because I'm going to do some freaky shit with your pussy. I was like, um, what do you want to do with me? Because I'm a little freaked out right now. And he was like, see this CD? See this CD? You have a fucking CD. <laughs> Anyways, so he's like, see this CD? Yeah. I'm going to put it in you, and I'm going to press play or on you. And I was like, I don't know if I got a play button. <laughs> What the fuck are you talking about? Because I ain't no cassette tape. I ain't no CD player. I don't got no rewinds. No fast forwards. I hope I can fast forward through this, actually. But I ain't got no play button. That's for sure. Damn, I've been having a rough ass day, y'all. Yeah, I have. Yesterday, I was at my sister Ronistra's. And I was just taking the laughing gas shit out. And I took all this shit out. And I was laughing. And then I'm sitting there just talking to my buddies. Making faces and shit. Sex faces. And then she comes at me with her big ass nipples. And takes a plug out of the nearest wall. And she goes, let me shove this in you. And I go, huh? I don't do that crazy shit. Uh-uh. She goes, let me shove this in you. She bounces that shit on her boobs, and she goes, shove it in you. <laughs> and then I go, huh? Anyway, so after that big ass slut went, I know my time, big ass slut went in my car. I was like, plug it in me, put it in me, and play me. I was like, yo, I threw out the window, I told you. I broke the glass, I saw her on the street. I drove away. I took that girl's money. Let me tell you, she must have been from, you know, you know where she was from? Mm -hmm. That's right. She was from Jamaica. A white girl from Jamaica. She told me she's from Jawanica. <laughs> and I'm like, where the fuck is Jawanica? She must have been scratched out of her mind, yo. Like, I don't know. You know what Jawanica is? No. <laughs> you know. Anyway, she's from Jamaica. And the next day, I heard police came and arrested her. You know what they did with the body? They mummified that shit up. Yeah, they put her in sarcophagus and smoked her blunt ass. Okay, so I'm a little trash right now. Just a little bit. Like, uh, it's only like 2 in the morning. And uh, I'm in jail for bouncing shit on my tits. I'm like my third nipple or something. Apparently, I got like three of them. I don't know where this one came from. The other two are just, those are, I guess, the norm. And so, anyways, after I bumped into this guy on the street, you know what he did? He tried to accuse me of being from Jamaica. I'm a white girl. I clearly ain't from Jamaica. I mean, given the fact that I talk like I'm from the street and that I'm hooded and I'm black, it doesn't mean I'm from Jamaica. I ain't from Jamaica. Get it straight. I'm from Jawanica. It kind of rhymes like marijuanica. Oh, wait. That's not really the word, is it? Hmm. I guess I just made a new word. But anyways, so this dude, he calls the police on me. And jokingly is like, yo, this girl's got a body in her house. And he doesn't really know that I actually have a body in my house that I mummify and I smoke all the time. Like, every month in a while, I just ash it up. Every month in a while? Every month in a while? And so every month in a while, I just I just take a finger or two, and I put it in the fire so I get the ashes, obviously. And I mix it up with a little bit of that white stuff, and you, you people could call it cocaine, whatever. And uh, I roll it up into a big doob, and I share it with my brother Jerry. and uh, And we enjoy it. And the fucking cops take it away. And now I'm sitting here in jail. Without a dube, without my brother Jerry to feel on my tits. And with no CD to press play. <laughs>